Hey guys, Matt with CJ Off-Road here. Now in today's video, we're gonna talk about some brand new exciting content that we have here on the channel. And we know that you guys are liking a lot of the new content that we're producing, specifically the Ford Bronco content. It's mostly a Jeep Wrangler and Jeep Gladiator channel. However, we have a ton of interest in the Ford Bronco by means of that first video, which is almost at 900,000 views. We're extremely excited to see that the Ford Bronco is coming out and it's really giving Jeep a lot of competition to really up their game and I think a ton of people are excited for that brand new Ford Bronco. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about some of the brand new color options in the Ford Bronco and how they compare to some of the Jeep Wrangler as well as my top three picks on our favorite colors here at CJ Off-Road. This is some really exciting content and we actually do have brand new renderings that we created in-house to really help you guys visualize how these colors look. I'm gonna go over some of those colors today, talk about my favorites, and then maybe talk a little bit about how they compare to some Jeep colors, so you're not gonna to wanna to miss this one. So in the brand new Ford Bronco, you've got a bunch of different color options. We're gonna go over some of the more common color options that I would say come in pretty much any new vehicle that you're gonna get. That's gonna be your standard, you have a white, a black, and then your silvers. Also, you've got some reds and some other blues, but Ford Bronco really created some unique color names. Now for the black, you've got a shadow black on the Ford Bronco, which is gonna be just a nice, crisp, pure black, which I've actually seen a couple on the Bronco Nation YouTube page, and they look really clean. This is gonna to compare to the standard black that you have in the Jeep Wrangler, and that's just a common car color, so black does look really clean, and you can add on any color accent to really match that to whatever scheme you're going for. The next one that Ford has is gonna be the Oxford White, which actually throws homage back to the original Mustang and some of the other original Ford vehicles where they started to use that color. It is a very pearl and it's got a lot of pearls in that. So it's not like a crazy crisp white, almost like the Jeep has that pure crisp white on there. It does have a lot of pearl and a lot of flake in it. So I think for an off-road vehicle that would look pretty cool because you could accent it with the exact same color or maybe give it some different colors to really make those pearls shine in that paint color. Now, as far as silvers go, you have two different silvers on the Ford Bronco. You've got an iconic silver, which is almost like the billet silver on the Jeep Wrangler. It's a lighter tone silver color, ton of flake in it, and they look extremely aggressive once you get them all cleaned up and polish them up. And then the other silver is going to be the carbonized gray. That almost reminds me of that granite crystal metallic on the Jeep Wrangler. It's a very deep, deep gray. It's got a ton of flake in it, the same as the iconic silver, just in a darker hue. That was what my JL Hemi was in, and I absolutely love that color. One, you got it shined up and accented it with a brighter color. The next thing we're gonna do is move on to some of the reds and blues and more of the kind of fancy colors that are available. And I gotta be honest with you guys, just about any paint color in modern time has a crazy name in front of it. I just painted my house and you wouldn't believe how many different paint names they have in front of a paint swatch. I actually did mine with gray screen gray. So they just add on random names, put a color to it, and now it's some fancy new color. It's the same with Ford, it's the same with Jeep, it happens everywhere, but it's just funny to me to read all these little descriptors in front of it. I think Jeep does it in a pretty cool way that actually references almost like food or items like Stingray, you know, like a Stingray or something like that. But overall, it's pretty cool to see what they do. I'm not a huge fan of naming them. I wish they'd just do metallic red, metallic blue, but it is kind of neat. I get the Jeep culture. I think Bronco is definitely trying to piggyback off of that by getting a little bit of culture into their names. So in the Ford Bronco, there are two reds. The first is going to be your rapid red metallic, and then you have a race red color. Now the rapid red is going to be a deeper metallic and almost reminds me of the new Snazberry color, which we actually did a video on here at CJ Off-Road. It is a very deep red metallic. And we've seen that a lot in Ford vehicles. We actually had one in our 2016 F-150. We did one when we built that up and compared it to a Raptor. And I've seen it on a lot of Ford vehicles. It's a great looking color, but if I'm being honest, it is on a lot of vehicles. There's a lot of, I see Ford Fusions and Ford Tauruses rolling around that are in that exact same color. However, I think that the race red is going to be a very vibrant and bright color that is fitting for the Ford Bronco. When I think of a Bronco, I think of that classic two-door with a roof off, driving around on the beach or cruising around in town, and I definitely see a red Bronco. We've got a old 60s Bronco here at CJ's, and it is a very vibrant race red. It's a very bright red, and it just looks super cool. Same with the race red, Jeep's got firecracker red, and there you can start to see the names in front of the thing. Firecracker red, race red, just gotta make them sound cool so that way you can actually create a little bit of a fan group on pages and it doesn't sound just a boring red color. So I do start to get it. The next colors we're gonna go over is the blues, so we'll start that. So the next color, like I said, is going to be blue. Now blue is obviously a staple of any car. However, some modern vehicles don't really include blues as much anymore. 
So we've got two blues on here. We've got velocity blue and we've got antimatter blue. The velocity blue reminds me of the hydro blue in the Jeep Wrangler and now the Jeep Gladiator. And it's a very vibrant and almost baby blue color that has a ton of metallic flake in it. And when those get cleaned up, I absolutely love it. It reminds me of the old school Islander, that bright blue mixed with a yellow color, just making it a really neat and kind of out there color. I love it and I think it's perfect for like a beach going Bronco or someone that's gonna have that top off all the time. Now the next one is antimatter blue and I'll give some props to the first person in the comments below that can tell me what antimatter is because I didn't research it yet, but I think it's what's in black holes or maybe it's some sort of space realm thing, but drop a comment below. I'll give you some shout out if you can get antimatter right without me having to Google it first. So I'll definitely be looking for that. But that one is a very, very deep blue. It reminds me of the ocean blue in the Jeep Wrangler. It's even deeper than that actually. And it's just a dark navy blue, which I think that with almost a white top on it would look really, really sick and would remind me of the original Bronco. So if you're looking to do a very original kind of throwback resto mod, do that color, white top, and then some old school lettering on it and you'll be pretty much set to go. So those two are obviously really cool. The next ones we're gonna go over are some of their more unique colors, which you actually have to get some of the different trim models to actually purchase. We're not gonna go over all those trim models. If you're interested in seeing which ones are available in each, you actually just go on Ford.com and build your own Bronco. You can check them all out like that. But now we're gonna go over some of the cooler colors and some of, honestly, my favorite ones. So the last three colors that I'm gonna go over today are actually my top three picks for the colors that I would choose if I was buying a brand new Ford Bronco. Now they are more out there colors, they're more unique, and they're very fitting of the Ford Bronco. Just as Jeep creates colors that are unique to their own vehicle, Ford is doing the exact same thing. Now the first one is going to be your Area 51 color, which is almost a blue gray mixed with a hint of green in there. It is a very unique color with a very unique name. Area 51 is, you know, frequented with UFO sightings in this mysterious military base somewhere out in Nevada. And if you look up in the sky, I think they were trying to go with some of the colors that if you looked up in on a clear, you know, starry night, that's what this color is reminding you of. So it's pretty cool. And I actually really, really like that name. And you guys better believe that when that comes out, I'll be Naruto running towards an Area 51 Bronco. Tiny community of Rachel, Nevada at 630. Reporting live. Just as soon as I can. The next color I want to go over is the cactus gray, and I think this is my number one color. If I was going to order a brand new Bronco, this is the one that I'd order. I remember watching the release and watching this one drive all over the place, and there was no really names out yet for the colors, but I knew if I was going to get one, that would be the color I would pick, which is kind of weird because I have a firecracker red Rubicon, but I really, really like the cactus gray. It reminds me a lot of the sting gray, however, it just has a little bit extra in it. It's a little bit more of a unique color, and I think there's a little bit of green mixed into that gray, which just gives it a very, very cool color. I think it's gonna be great out in the woods. And when I saw it with a little bit of mud on it, a little bit of sand, it really blended in and looks, it just looks mean. So that's probably my favorite color there is gonna be the cactus gray. The last color that's really unique to this is going to be the cyber orange metallic. And if any of you guys have seen any of the release material on the Ford Bronco, and you've seen the two door that looks a little bit lifted, that is the cyber orange metallic. To me, it is a great looking color and I could see that being in a two door or even a four door rolling around, but it has to be lifted and modified. Do not get one of those and leave it stock. When you have a bright, crazy color like that, get it up in the air, make it look crazy and really build it up to the T. That's what I think goes perfect with those more unique colors. I gotta say that reminds me of a mixture between the nacho orange color that Jeep first released and 2018 JLs, which I think is going to be re-released, and a pumpkin orange color mixed with a hella yellow. There's just a lot of colors going on in there, but it's super bright. It's got a ton of flake in it. And that's one thing I am noticing with the Ford Bronco colors. Unless it's a more flat color like the cactus gray, it's gonna have a lot of flake in it, which makes it really nice. If you do get a scratch, you'll be able to sand it out, buff it out, and make it look pretty cleaned up. And when you do polish them up, they'll look They'll look sharp when you go to a Jeep show or a, I guess now a Bronco show as they'll call it. Overall guys, I am really happy with all the colors that Ford has come out with for that brand new Bronco. Now if they could just release the actual Bronco so we can get our hands on one here at CJ Off-Road, we would be even more excited than I am now. Now I would like to know in the comments what color choice that you would go with if you were building a brand new Bronco. Or maybe just what is your favorite? If you're not buying a Bronco and you don't like them, you wanna get a Jeep Wrangler, that's cool and all, but I'm sure there's some colors here that definitely intrigued you guys. Also, if we were to get a Bronco here, let us know what color you think we should pick and which you think would look best on camera and best out on the trails. 
If it's a race red, if it's a velocity blue, maybe it's that cactus gray, which is my favorite, definitely drop it in the comment below, as well as if you want to hear about any new Bronco information. We definitely want to release the Bronco here on off-road. We got a ton of great feedback on that first video, and I actually replied back to, I think, it was had to be over five or 600 comments on there. You guys really enjoyed that, and I'm super happy that you guys are as excited as we are about that brand new Bronco. As soon as it comes out, we're gonna have all the greatest parts here right here at CJ Off-Road to help you modify it and make it your own. But until next time, guys, we'll be definitely researching that Bronco. We hope you guys are staying safe and staying home, and we'll see you out on the trail.